video is to help you know how to care for your JP drain. It does not replace medical advice or treatment. I will say you in this video, but you can refer to yourself or whoever is helping to care for your drain. This video is made for people who have drains after breast cancer surgery. This video uses a female figure to demonstrate how to take care of your drains, although breast cancer can affect people of every gender. In this video, you will learn why you need the drain, how the drain works, how to care for your drain after surgery, when the drain will be removed, how to shower with the drain, what to do if you get an infection, what to do if your drain is not working or falls out. The type of drain you will get is called a JP or Jackson Pratt drain. You will have this drain for 7 to 14 days. In this video, I will refer to the Jackson Pratt drain as the JP drain or just drain. Why you need the JP drain? After surgery, fluid can collect around the area where you had surgery and near the incisions or surgical cuts. The fluid is called seroma fluid. If this fluid builds up, it can cause swelling around the incision. Swelling puts pressure on the incision. This causes pain and delays healing. The drain removes fluid buildup and helps prevent swelling. By draining the fluid, there is less pressure on the incision. Less pressure allows the incision to heal properly and reduces pain. The drain has the following parts. The drainage end, which is placed inside your body where the surgery occurred. This part is thick and white with lots of little holes for the fluid to drain through. You will not see the drainage end. A tube, which is attached to the drainage end and to the bulb. A soft bulb with a stopper at the end of the tube to collect fluid. The bulb holds 100 milliliters of fluid. These measurements are on the side of the bulb a clip to attach the bulb to your clothing. How the JP drain works. The JP drain works by draining seroma fluid from the surgical site through the drainage end and tube and into the bulb. The JP drain is used for mastectomy surgeries and axillary lymph node dissection surgeries, which remove lymph nodes near your armpit. Some patients will only have a mastectomy. Some will have just lymph nodes removed, and some will have both. If you had a mastectomy, the tube will be kept in place with a stitch on the surface of your skin near the breast where the drain enters your body. You will be able to see the stitch. If you had lymph nodes removed, the tube will be stitched under the arm where the surgery was done. If you had a double or bilateral mastectomy, you will have two drains. If you had a double mastectomy and lymph nodes removed, you may have three or more drains. If you had a deep flap breast reconstruction, you may also have drains in your belly, on the right and left side. The drain removes fluid by suction and gravity. Squeezing the bulb and putting the stopper in creates a constant and gentle suction. The suction pulls fluid away from the incision through the drainage end and into the bulb. By keeping the drain below the cut or incision, gravity works to help drain fluids. This can be done by clipping the bulb to your clothing at the waist level, or by placing it inside your post-surgical camisole pouch. The fluid in your drain is made up of blood and seroma fluid. The color of the fluid in your drain will change over the course of a few days. Right after surgery, it will be a bloody red color. Then, over time, it will change to a pinkish yellow color, then to a pale yellow color, which is the seroma fluid. How to care for your JP drain after surgery. Taking care of your JP drain helps ensure that you do not have the drain for longer than you need. The longer the drain is in, the greater the risk of infection. For some people, taking care of your JP drain may seem like a hard task. 
But by following a few easy steps, you can manage your drain and help your body heal quickly. There are two things you need to do to take care of your JP drain. One, milk the drain. And two, empty the drain. Milking the JP drain. Milking the drain may seem like an odd expression, but milking the drain keeps the tube from getting clogged. If the tube gets clogged, then built up fluid cannot drain from the incision. There are three steps for you to take to milk the drain. Step one, clean your hands. Cleaning your hands will reduce the risk of infection. Watch this video to learn how to clean your hands well. Step two, with one hand, hold the tube where it enters your body. Keep this hand in place so you do not tug on the drain. Step three, with your other hand, pinch the tube just below the hand that is holding the tube. With your fingers pinched, slide your fingers down the tube. Sliding your fingers down the tube pushes any clots, blood, tissue, or debris down into the bulb. Repeat this step a few times, sliding your fingers down the tube a little at a time. Milk the drain every three hours during the day while you are awake. Each time you milk the drain, repeat the process of sliding your fingers down the full tube two to three times in a row. You do not have to wake up and do this at night. Emptying the JP drain. Empty the JP drain when you wake up and before you go to bed. As the bulb fills up, you may empty it as needed during the day, but make sure you record how much fluid was emptied each time. Before you empty the JP drain, make sure you have a clean area, the measuring cup your nurse gave you, a daily log or sheet to record the time and amount of fluid emptied from the drain, a pen or a pencil, your daily log will include the date, the time, and the amount of fluid emptied from each drain. Here is an example of a daily log for a patient with a double or bilateral mastectomy. Wash your hands before you handle any parts of the drain. Then, remove the drain from your clothing, surgical bra, or camisole if it is attached. There are eight steps for you to take to empty the drain. Step 1. Unplug the stopper on top of the bulb. The bulb expands as it fills with fluid. You may notice that the bulb expands further when the stopper is removed. Do not touch the inside of the stopper or the opening of the bulb to reduce the risk of infection. Step 2. Turn the bulb upside down over the measuring cup and gently squeeze it. The fluid from the bulb will drain into the measuring cup. Step 3. Once the bulb is drained of fluid, turn the bulb right side up. There may be blood clots or bits of body tissue at the bottom of the bulb. This is normal and will not harm you. Do not wash the bulb or try to rinse it with water. Washing the bulb or rinsing the bulb can lead to infection. Step 4. Squeeze the sides of the bulb together until your fingers feel the palm of your hand. Squeezing the bulb will restart the suction. Step 5. Continue to squeeze the bulb while you put the stopper back in the plug. Check to see that the bulb stays fully compressed to ensure that there is suction. Step 6. Place the bulb back in the pouch of your surgical bra or camisole, or clip it to your clothing. Step 7. Check the amount of fluid in the measuring cup. It is normal to have blood clots, bits of tissue, or red and yellow fluid called the seroma fluid, in the cup. Write down the amount and time you emptied the drain in a journal or in your daily log. To get drainage log pages you can print out, click the link below. If you have more than one drain, record the amount of fluid emptied from each drain. Do not add the amounts from different drains together. Step 8. Flush the fluid from the measuring cup down the toilet and rinse the measuring cup with water. When your JP drain will be removed. Keeping a log of the amount of fluid you drain 
lets your healthcare team know when to remove the JP drain. The amount of fluid you have in your drain would become less and less as your incision heals. When the total amount of fluid that comes out of one drain is less than 30 milliliters in 24 hours for two days in a row, the drain is ready to come out. When your surgery is finished, your surgeon will place an electronic order to the Toronto Central Lynn. The Toronto Central Lynn will then arrange for community care nursing. You will get a call from the community care nursing team once you have left the hospital and gone home. The nursing team will let you know if you need to go to a community health clinic near your home or if a nurse will come to your home. You will have a total of two to four visits with the nurse. You may need more visits with the nurse if the JP drain must stay in for a longer amount of time. The nurse will check the drain and the drain's insertion site. The drain's insertion site is where the drain enters your skin. The nurse will also check your level of pain and review your daily log of JP drain output. When the drain is ready to come out, the nurse will first remove the stitch holding the drain in place. The nurse will then remove the drain, including the drainage end. Having the drain removed is not painful. The nurse will put a dressing of gauze and tape on your JP drain insertion site while it continues to heal. Change your dressing once per day or if the dressing is soaked through. The dressing only needs to be on until there is no more fluid seeping out of the insertion site of the drain. To change the dressing, first wash your hands. Remove the old dressing, then apply a fresh gauze pad to the insertion site with tape. Showering with the JP drain. You may shower with the drain in place 48 hours after surgery. Do not shower before then. Showering before 48 hours can increase the risk of infection. You may have a sponge bath during this time, but do not get the insertion site wet. Before you shower, tape the bulb to your skin at the hip or use a Velcro belt to attach the bulb so that it does not dangle and risk falling out. Use medical tape, which you can buy at your local drugstore. You do not need to cover the JP drain insertion site when you shower because the stitches close off the area. If you feel more comfortable having a dressing over the JP drain insertion site while you shower, you may apply a plastic dressing with tape. Remove the dressing after you have showered. Use mild soap with no scents. Soaps with scents can cause irritation, allergic reactions, and increase the risk of infection. Examples of mild soaps are Aveeno, Dove, Cetaphil, or Ivory Soap. Do not soak the insertion site of the drain. Rinse and pat the area dry after you are done showering. What to do if you get an infection? Signs of infection include redness, heat, pus or discharge, new pain, heart swelling or rapid new swelling, or a fever of 38 degrees or higher for more than 24 hours. If you think you have an infection, get medical help. On a weekday, Monday to Friday, call your nurse coordinator at Princess Margaret. On weekends or after hours, go to your family doctor, walk-in clinic, or emergency room. What to do if your drain is not working or falls out? If you notice that the drain is not flowing, try the following. Check the bulb and make sure that it is compressed. The bulb must be compressed in order to create suction. Refer to steps 4 and 5 of how to empty the drain. Check the stopper. The stopper must be fully in the plug and securely closed. If it is not securely closed, air can get into the bulb and the bulb will not create suction. Check the drainage tube. Sometimes the tube can get clogged due to blood clots, old tissue, and built up debris from seroma fluid. Try milking the tube to release any blockages. Refer to the steps under milking the JP drain to milk the tube. If the drain is still not working, then contact the community care access nurse, your nurse surgical coordinator, or surgeon's office.
there may be another cause, such as an air leak at the insertion site. If it is an air leak at the insertion site, it may need to be completely sealed with the dressing. Rarely is a new drain required. The drain, along with the drainage end, can slip out of place or fall out at the insertion site if it is pulled or gets caught. This rarely happens. If your drain slips or falls out, contact your surgeon's office. A new drain may or may not be required depending on when the drain came out of place. You have come to the end of the JP drain video. Refer back to it as often as you need. If you have any questions, please contact your surgeon's office.